Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. In last week's episode, we looked at things to know before you tow with your Jeep. And in that episode, I invited viewers to send in pictures of what they tow with their Jeep. And that's what this episode's about. So stick around. In last week's episode, I invited viewers to send in pictures of what they tow with their Jeep. I thought I might see pictures of utility trailers, cargo trailers, off-road trailers, travel trailers, and incidentally, all the pictures that were sent were of travel trailers. So I picked three to show you, and let's get started. Our first Jeep is from Dave H. from British Columbia, and as you can see here, all I can say is, Wow, this is a beautiful setup. I look at that Jeep and I just think, wow, that is a beautiful JK Rubicon. It has been lifted and has larger tires on it, a steel bumper and winch and the roll bars and the light bars. And when I look at the trailer that he's towing behind his rig, it just seems very well suited. Let's have a look at some of the particulars. Dave's tow vehicle is a Jeep Wrangler JK Rubicon Unlimited from 2018. The Rubicon comes with the stock 3.73 gears and as such his tow vehicle has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Dave's trailer of choice happens to be the Bushwhacker Plus from Braxton Creek. A link to the company's website will be in the description section if you wish to investigate it further. Dave has provided the following table of his trailer, which lists some features and weights that you may want to check out, so feel free to hit pause. Dave stated that what he liked about this trailer is its size, its lightweight, the fact that it was in stock, and allows him to customize it the way he wants. Here you can see that Dave has added a battery and also an extra propane tank on the tongue. Dave also added a 200 watt solar panel onto the roof, a solar controller, a 1200 watt inverter, an outside shower, insulated tanks and plumbing with 12 volt heaters, a backup camera and rear lighting. Even on the interior, Dave added his custom touch to the stock interior by adding this custom backsplash and shelving in the kitchen area. To help with safe towing, Dave also added a Red Arc Tow Pro Liberty brake controller. The controller unit itself is hidden beneath the steering wheel behind the dash. And the only thing visible inside the Jeep is the control knob itself which is mounted to a piece of panel to the right of the steering wheel. To address any possibility of rear sag, Dave installed an Airlift 1000 system and you can see here the red airbag that's mounted inside the rear springs and the airline is run to the conveniently located inflator valve right next to the trailer hitch itself. To protect the front of his trailer, Dave added some Mopar rear mud flaps as well as some easy flares to protect the sides of his Jeep and trailer as well. Dave also shared that he has a Trailer Valet 5X, which is a nice handy unit that can be powered by a 20 volt drill and helps you maneuver your trailer in tight spaces. I'll have a link to the website for this item for those of you who would find this interesting. So how does Dave's setup fare when compared to the information that we discussed last week? Well, we understand that his rig does have a 3,500 pound towing capacity. His trailer weight is 1,900 pounds. The payload is 850, and as such, the total GVWR of the trailer is 2,750 pounds. At 10%, this would put a tongue weight of 275 pounds, which is within the limits of the trailer hitch. For safe towing, he added a Red Arc Tow Pro Liberty, and he uses the Airlift 1000 system to counter any possible sagging at the rear of the Jeep. So all in all, it seems like a nicely balanced system, not too heavy in weight, has lots of amenities. So in all honesty, I think this is a very well put together Jeep travel trailer tow package. I wouldn't mind having that myself. What do you think? Make sure you share your comments in the comments section below. So that was very spectacular. I want to say a special thank you to Dave H. out in BC for sending that to us for review. And so now we'll move on to our next one. 
Dieter S from Ontario and as we can see right here he's got a 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK now incidentally he does mention that this does not have the tow package so the gear setup and tires and springs on this four-door Sahara would dictate what the tow capacity is and that for this rig would be 2,000 pounds let's have a look at his setup Dieter's travel trailer of choice is the ProLite Mini and I'll have a link to that company's website if you wanted to investigate this model in more detail. Dieter does have a lot of amenities and has done a lot of DIY work to make his travel trailer home. And when it comes to the detailed information about his DIY electrical work on the trailer and the other amenities, as well as the work that Dieter has done to his Jeep to prepare it for towing, I'll put a link to his website where he goes through all that information in detail. Dieter provides a list of gear that he takes with him in the Jeep as well as in the trailer and as well as their weights. He also includes the weight of the trailer and he does it in kilograms. However, for our purposes, I'll discuss the weight in pounds. For example, the net weight as per manufacturer that Dieter states on his website of the trailer is 950 pounds. With all of the gear in the trailer, he estimates his total gross vehicle weight rating of his trailer is 1,554 pounds. As in the previous example that we looked at, Dieter also uses the Airlift 1000 system to reduce the amount of sag at the back of the Jeep due to the weight of the trailer. You can see here the airbag in the rear springs to help reduce the sag of the Jeep, and in Dieter's case he runs the hose and the inflator valve into the covered gas cap area to keep it clean. Dieter also goes on to explain on his website his use of the Tekoncha Voyager 9030 electric trailer brake controller. So just like in our previous example, let's see how Dieter's numbers fare in comparison to what we were discussing last week. As we observed, the towing capacity of Dieter's Jeep is 2,000 pounds. Dieter says his trailer weighs 950 pounds. With a payload of 604 pounds, that would bring up his total weight to 1,554 pounds. At a 10% tongue weight, that would put 155 pounds on the hitch which is well below the 350 pounds maximum rating. Dieter also uses the Tekoncha Voyager 9030 brake controller and also uses the Airlift 1000 system to help reduce the amount of sag of the back of the Jeep. So all in all, everything seems to be set up and working within the limits of his Jeep. I think Dieter has done an amazing job at being able to tow behind you such amenities at such a light weight. Great job, Dieter. So thank you Dieter from Ontario and if you are interested in more details of his setup in particular the particular brakes that he's installed to assist in the safety and handling of the Jeep with the trailer, his work on his electrical components, they can all be found on his website and I'll have the link in the description section of this video. But, but now let's move on to our third and final trailer from Glenn H from New Brunswick. And again, I just say, wow, look at this beautiful setup. This is a 2020 Jeep Wrangler Sahara JL. It does have the tow package, so it does have a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Glenn's trailer of choice is the Explorer R-Pod, the RP180. I'll have a link to the manufacturer's website where you can check out that and other floor plans and other amenities if you're interested. Due to the winter season, Glenn couldn't get us specific pictures, but he did share with us the following specific information. The R Pod 180 has a dry weight of 2,878 pounds with a maximum weight of 3,500 pounds. On Glenn's Jeep, he installed a smithy built steel bumper which attaches to the Jeep's frame rails as well as the cross member. This allows him to have a Class 3 hitch on the back of his Jeep Wrangler. This provides a sturdy connection between his Jeep's hitch and its frame as well as increases the tongue weight capacity to 500 pounds. Glenn also utilizes the Tekoncha 9030 trailer brake controller and he also utilizes the Pro 1000 series weight distribution hitch. He has the round bar type with a friction anti-sway device. 
Len says that all this equipment is easy to use and works, so let's have a look and see how his numbers compare to what we were discussing last week. His towing capacity, as per manufacturer's designation, is 3,500 pounds. His trailer dry weight is 2,878. With 622 pounds of cargo, he has maxed out his trailer weight at 3,500 pounds. So that is still within the towing capacity of the Jeep. Now at 10% tongue weight, that would put 350 pounds on the hitch. Now the maximum capacity of the hitch is 350 pounds, but as we are aware, he installed a smithy-built steel bumper with a class 3 tow hitch, which increased the capacity to 500 pounds. So even though the tongue weight is 350 pounds, which is the designated capacity of the hitch, it's still a strong connection that he has because that steel bumper has a hitch with a rating of 500 pounds. Now he does use the Deconcha 9030 brake controller and because of that steel bumper which has that reinforced hitch as well as being attached to the frame he can safely and confidently use the Pro 1000 series weight distribution hitch with the round bar type which has the friction anti-sway device. So as much as he's maxed out to his capacity, putting in the steel bumper which is attached to the frame rails as well as having that stronger hitch is probably a good way to go. So in my opinion this is a pretty sweet setup and if you're going to be towing to the maximum capacity of your vehicle, it's good to put in some overstrength options as you see Glenn has done here with the steel bumper. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. A special thank you to Glenn H out in New Brunswick for sending us this information and I have to admit I have found myself going back and looking at his rig a few times over because that is a beautiful setup. And if you were wondering if you could have a full service trailer towed behind a Jeep Wrangler JL, well Glenn is showing you that you can. So I hope that you found that all very interesting but for this week's tip I just want to share with you something to keep in mind for those of you considering using a weight distribution hitch when you're towing a trailer at your capacity. Now for some cheaper jeeper tips. In the tip segment of this video I want to speak with you about the trailer hitch of the Jeep Wrangler. It essentially is a trailer hitch that's bolted onto the bumper so you have four bolts holding the trailer hitch to the Jeep and towing your trailer. A simple Google search on Jeep Wrangler and weight distribution hitches will lead you to many threads that share how the stock trailer hitch on the Jeep Wrangler is not suitable for the torsional stresses put upon it by a weight distribution hitch. So if you are towing at the maximum capacity of your Jeep and you're considering a weight distribution hitch, make sure you use a class 3 receiver connected to the frame members of your vehicle. I'll put a link to a few of the forum threads that I'm talking about in the description section of this video. So it's not that I'm an expert at any of this, I'm just sharing with you some of the things that I've learned and I hope that you found this information helpful. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. We're just getting ready to go on another winter camping trip. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and then click the alert bell so you'll be notified when our next video is released. Till the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.